my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, well, I am here to review ah, the birds. I'm here to review the birds. How do I get this bird off of me? Let's go to DVD Collector 1974 so I can try to figure out how to get this bird away from me. Ah, DVD Collector 1974, take it away. Hey gang, DVD Collector back in the movie room and I am here to talk Halloween with you as a part of this collaboration video and very proud to be a member of this. Um, so without any further ado, let me jump into this. I'm going to talk about 1963 Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Uh, this of course is Alfred Hitchcock's um, creature feature and it was an attempt to surpassed the success that he had with Psycho. Story takes place in, in, a, in, a, in a town called Bodega Bay um, and really it's just uh, no rhyme or reason. It's, it's an attempt at an, an apocalyptic film I think of some sort. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows why anything is happening. It's just uh, birds are attacking everybody. This is definitely Hitchcock's most brutal film and in my opinion um, his last great film. He has good films after this, but this is his last great film. Very, um, I always has a soft spot in my heart because I love creature features, but, um, very bloody for Hitchcock. Um, do I think it's better than Psycho? Absolutely not. I don't even put it better than a lot of his movies, but I do respect the movie and I like, um, I like, I like it a lot. It looks great on Blu-ray if you've never seen it, um, on the Blu-ray box set that they put out. So I urge everybody to watch um, The Birds. Make sure you watch lots of other horror movies. It's, you still got a while. It's only halfway through the month, so we still got a while of Halloween. I am doing, of course, 31 Days of Halloween on my own channel. I love horror movies, and I'm trying to showcase some classics over there. So um, let's all join together and support the horror community. How about that? Um, check out The Birds if you haven't ever seen it, and a lot of other Alfred Hitchcock films. Um, so that's it. So thanks again for inviting me over here, and I'm very glad to do this video and talk about the birds. So until next time, guys. Later. Ah, killed that son of a bitch. Damn. Oh gosh. I think I have scratches and bruises all over me. <coughs> and feathers in my mouth. Anyways, thank you, DVD Collector, 1974. He's very nice. Check out his channel. Uh, he does short movie reviews with his daughter, Sam, and sometimes with his young son. Weekly chats. He'll do a lot of good stuff on his channel. He even plays with puppets. He'll do bills with his puppet, Zig. In case you guys were wondering what he rated it, DVD Collector gives the birds 8 out of 10 chainsaws. Interesting rating. The film is outstanding. I think the acting in the birds is just really good all around. No weak performances. Everyone did a really good job. I was very impressed overall by the atmosphere of the birds. How Alfred Hitchcock did it. He did it in a brutal way. It was actually a pretty brutal film. And he just did like, wow. His direction was brilliant for the birds and how he was setting up the atmosphere, you know, building up to scenes. It was just really good. And I, I was just overall really impressed by the birds. I really enjoyed this film. And I'm just, and I just think the storyline is well written. It has really outstanding writing. The cinematography for the birds looks so beautiful. And there are some very interesting shots. Like... There is this one shot where there's fire in the city and then you see like just 
birds just like flying into that town. I don't know if you guys know what shot I'm trying to describe, but that shot, I just love. Just how Alfred Hitchcock did it. The birds is just like really well written. It's got intense moments. It's got thrilling moments. You actually care about the characters. You want to see the characters get out of this very awful and brutal situation. Like, holy crap. It's definitely unexpected. You're not quite sure where the film's going to go. I admire the writing, the direction, the acting, the cinematography. I really liked everything about the birds. My only problems with the birds is that there were a couple of times where I'm all like, yeah, that was kind of dumb. And then also near the end, there was this character that actually walks upstairs and opens the door. Her probably knowing what was inside the door, but she opens it anyways. And you guys could probably guess what was inside that door. I'm not going to say what it is, but you guys could probably figure out what scene I'm trying to talk about. The ending, it's gloomy, it's unexpected, it's not your typical ending, which I'm glad Alfred Hitchcock went for. But personally, I wasn't just, I wasn't crazy about the ending. I didn't hate it or anything. I admired the ending and I kind of liked it, but... It wasn't really what I hoped it would go, but it's Alfred Hitchcock, and the guy knew what he was doing, so I admire and respect the guy for the direction he was going for. Overall, The Birds is outstanding. Great acting, great cinematography, just some very magnificent shots. Everything about this film is just really breathtaking. The Birds is a very well done film. Didn't know what to expect when I first saw it. But coming out of it, I was like really, really impressed by The Birds. Directed by Alfred Hitchcock. And I'm going to give The Birds 3.5 out of 4 stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have... TAGA POWER!